Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Sangmok Cho, co-PI and postdoc of uh, Professor Brian G. Thomas, who is the PI of uh, this project. Our project has been being conducted with the Illinois General Project Allocation. Today, I'm going to talk about some of uh, our achievements using blue waters. Uh, as you can see, Tyro is a multi-phase turbulent flow modeling of a steel continuous casting with the electromagnetic system to minimize the surface defect. Before starting the presentation, I would like to express thanks to Sopos and our collaborator. Especially greatly appreciate uh, NCSA for Blue Water Illinois General Project uh, Allocation, which has been allowing us to keep doing our research projects. And uh, our collaborator and UIUC and the SCSA, especially thanks to Dr. Taha, Dr. Korik, and Mr. Bellakar at NCSA for help us uh, for NCS fluid flown to simulation and abacus simulation. Also thanks to NCSA, uh, NCS for flown to HP license and the Continuous Casting Consortium at UIUC and the Continuous Casting Center at CSM. And finally, the two National Science Foundations. This slide shows I, our sum of publication acknowledging Blue Waters. Recently, we have published over 10 papers, and currently there are several papers on the review and in preparation. Now I would like to move to talking about our research with the Blue Waters. This slide shows our research domain, continuous casting of a steel process. With this process, steel companies in the world produce the over 96% of steel. That is the 1.5 billion tons per year. So even small improvement can have a huge effect on the steel industry. In the continuous casting process showing the left figure, molten steel flows uh, from the ladle uh, through the tundish into the mold. It should be protected from the exposure of molten steel to air by a slag cover of each vessel and by ceramic uh, nozzle between the vessels. Once in the mold, the molten steel freezes against the water-cooled copper mold wall to form a solid shell. This shell contains the uh, liquid as the shell is withdrawn continuously from the bottom of the mold. And many defects such as the gas bubble defects and non-metallic inclusion defect and deflation and the crack are related to complex the multiphysics phenomena in the mold region. Here are the complex phenomena which should be considered to understand the defect formation mechanism and improve the process. In this process, we inject the argon gas bubble to prevent the nose clogging and uh, to prevent the exposure of molten steel to air, we put the slag layer. That's why we should consider the turbulent multiphase flow and heat transfer, solidification, and steel slag interface phenomena, and nucleation, coalescence, uh, and the growth of the molten crystal bubble and the inclusion transport and the capture into the solidifying steel shell and thermodynamics and deformation and the stress behavior of a solidifying steel shell and the magnetohydrodynamics system to prevent the uh, fluid flow related defects. This slide shows several important defect formation mechanisms in continuous steel casting. Firstly, argon bubble and non-metallic inclusion can be interrupted by solidifying steel shell, especially uneven solidification figures who could shape the shell. Secondly, as shown in the right figure, instability at liquid mold flux and the molten steel interface near the mancus can entrain the uh, liquid mold flux into the molten steel pool and finally produce the capture into the steel shell resulting in surface or internet defects in the final steel product. 
and other defects are depression and cracks caused by undesirable thermal and mechanical behavior of solidifying tissue. To reduce the fluid flow related defects uh, explained in previous slide, uh, many, uh, many steel company applied ha has uh, applied several electromagnetic system with the changing nozzle design and the optimizing casting conditions. Steel is, as you know, steel is the conducting material, so magnetic field externally employed by the system induce the current in the steel and finally produce the Lorentz force, which can break the molten steel flow from the nozzle. Application of a magnetic field to stabilize the steel flow is a very attractive method because the induced force intrinsically adjusts to the flow variation. The field strength distribution uh, depends on the magnetic positions and coil windings and current strengths. Electromagnetic systems are classified the, according to the type of the field, static DC current or moving AC current. Static system include the local, single ruler, double ruler, electromagnetic braking systems. Moving system include the electromagnetic level stabilizer, EMLS, electromagnetic level accelerator, EMLA, and the electromagnetic rotating steerer, EMRS. To understand uh, the multi-physics phenomena and defect formation in the continuous caster and improve the process, uh, computation modeling is essentially needed for this research field because other experiments using the left scale model and real plant measurement have a critical limitation due to the harsh environment and the numerous process condition of uh, uh, continuous casting. For example, molten steel temperature is around the 1600 Celsius and the mold region is covered by the Cooper plate. That's why we cannot see any phenomena during the casting. Even for computational simulation, this process also makes the other difficult due to the huge domain size and the small length scale and small time scale which we should consider the, for the more, uh, model prediction. And to improve the process by finding some optimal process conditions and new designs, there should be many parameter study using the model. That's why we have been conducting the supercomputing using the blue waters, achieving the speed of breakthrough uh, that is over 3,000 faster simulations. We have been applying the two CFD programs, uh, commercial package program ANSYS front HPC version and in-house multi-GPU based code C-flow. With uh, those two programs, we applied the model as follows. Uh, turbulence model using the LES, RANS models, and the secondary phase models using the VOF and the Euler and Euler model and Lagrangian, Lagrangian discrete phase model and the new uh, hybrid uh, multi-phase model that is uh, the Euler and Euler model coupled with the DPM. And the magnetohydrodynamics model to consider the magnetic effect on the fluid flow and heat transfer and solidification model and particle capture model, which is based on the local force on each particle at the solidification front. We have test, uh, tested both the CPU and GPU versions of in-house code seal flow developed by our collaborator, Professor Banker at UIUC. And we achieved a great uh, performance on Blue Water XK node with a multi GPU based uh, seal flow version. As you show in this uh, slide, multi GPU seal flow test on the Blue Water XK node shows good speed up. Less than two days requires for 30 second LES coupled with the MHD simulation of a fluid flow in a continuous casting domain with uh, 14 million cells. Actually, this simulation took the six months 
with the lab workstation. So it's the huge benefit to use the blue waters for our research field. We also tested the commercial CFD program ANSYS Front HP, HPC on BlueWars XE node. Elias coupled with multi-phase flow model such as the Eulerian Euler model and the Buyev model show over 3,000 times faster on BlueWars than on the, our uh, lab workstation. So front uh, HP simulation on blue water show speed up breakthrough getting, getting much more efficient for much finer mesh domain and uh, much smaller time scale. With the in-house code seal flow and the commercial program front on blue waters, our research project uh, have been conducted. Our research objectives uh, to develop the multi-physics model of the continuous casting and then get insights uh, uh, into defect formation mechanism and to suggest the optimum process condition to improve the final step product quality. Today, uh, I'm gonna talk about some of our research topics as follows. Bubble behavior and size distribution using the new hybrid multi-phase model and the argon bubble transport and capture into the solid fine steel shell in the mode with the electromagnetic braking system using the LES coupled with the DPM and MHD and particle capture model. And we apply the LES coupled with the DPM and MHD model to figure out the effect of the EMLS moving magnetic field on transient mode flow and the bubble transport. Finally, uh, we quantified the steel solidification, erosion, oscillation mark profile, and the macro segregation in the mode using the LES coupled with the VF heat transport model and solidification model. This slide shows how the multi-physics model developed for each research topic are interrelated. For example, bubble size distribution calculated from the hybrid multi-phase flow simulations is used as input data for particle capture model. And MHD model is coupled with other multi-phase flow model so we can investigate effect of various electromagnetic system on transient fluid flow and the particle capture and solidification and any other various phenomena. Let me show some of our modeling result. Yeah, bubble behavior including gas pocket formation, shearing off, volumetric expansion, breakup, coalescence, transport, has been simulated using the new hybrid model as shown left video. This model is a new concept Euler and Orion model coupled with the uh, Lagrange and DPM model. The model can calculate the bubble size distribution considering all these uh, phenomena. The model was validated uh, by uh, comparing the bubble size distribution with the lab scale measurement. So, uh, this model is ready to be applied for real cast case, which has molten steel and the argon gas system. Also, we simulate the capture of each bubble as steel shell front according to the force balance on each bubble touching the dendrite tip of the solid fine steel shell using LES coupled with the DPM and the particle capture model. Uh, from this model simulation, we also consider the effect of the EMBR, static magnetic field, on bubble capture defect formation. The model was validated by comparing with the plant measurement of the real defects measured in the final steel slab. We found that with the EMBR less bubbles reach the steel shell, and the last bubble go deep into the mode regions, as shown in the left two videos. So EMBR reduced the argon gas capture into the steel shell, resulting in less surface and the internal defects. 
to prevent the undesirable fluid flow variation which can produce the surface defects, EMLS moving magnetic field has been applied. EMLS has a strong page shift, shift and creates the moving field across the mold width towards the nozzle port as shown in the video. So high low range force generated near the mold wall move towards the nozzle and that force breaks the jet flow from the nozzle port. This slide shows the transient mode flow result showing jet wobbling phenomena and the argon bubble distribution in casting mode with and without EMLS moving fuel. Due to the moving strong uh, Lorentz force, EMLS reduces the jet wobbling and makes the jet deflect slightly downward uh, near the mode wall. This results in lower and more stable surface velocity and level. Also, the strong Lorentz force near the mode wall uh, transport argon bubbles further away from the steel shell. These two effects can reduce the, uh, both the slag entrainment defects and the bubble capture defects. The EMLS model showed a good agreement with the plant measurement of surface average, time average surface velocity, time average surface level, and uh, their fluctuation by times. Finally, I would like to show some research collaboration with the uh, NCSA team, Dr. Taha and uh, Mr. Bellacar, to develop the solidification model of shell growth, erosion, and oscillation mark profile, and the macro segregation. This slide shows our continuous casting domain, including the Tundish bottom region, stopper load, flow control system, nozzle, mold, and the strand region, including the slag regions. Uh, we uh, made the 150 million hexahedral mapped domain, which is the needed to capture micrometer scale phenomena in the slag region defects. Firstly, we developed a two-dimensional model to simulate the fluid flow, heat transfer, and solidification in the Menskos region as shown in the left video. After model validation, uh, by comparing with the lab scale measurement, uh, the validated model has been extrapolated for three-dimensional uh, full domain as shown in the right figures. We expect that this work will be great breakthrough model which enable us to uh, fully understand the critical solidification defects uh, such as breakout shell, hook formation, deep oscillation mark profile, and macro segregation in this uh, still continuous casting process. Uh, let me summarize the talk. Uh, blue water resource, ANSYS front uh, HPC on XE node and the multi GPU based in house code seal flow on XK node show the modeling capability breakthrough over the 3000 faster than the normal uh, workstation simulation. And the various uh, multi phase simulation have been conducted to quantify the defect formations and to reduce the defects by applying the electromagnetic system. So we consider the um, turbulent multi-phase flow and the MHD and heat transfer and solidification and thermal mechanical behavior uh, for the depression and crack formation of the solidifying steel shell. Uh, thank you for listening. <laughs>